In 1965 China tested its first nuclear bomb. India, a newly born state, was new to world politics and needed an ally to confront China's growing threats. India also wanted to join the nuclear club and looked for some help. The USA had a huge interest in the region with the motto of stop the spread of communism in Asia. USSR and USA were in a cold war during this period. India adopted a non-alignment movement during this period and supported both the USA and USSR. The USA was keener on China and wanted to keep a lookout for it. After China tested its first nuclear bomb, the USA showed new interest in China's nuclear capacity. It joined hands with India, which also started to take China seriously. Both countries planned a joint mission to monitor China Operation Hat. The operation's objective is to scale the Nanda Devi Peak or commonly called K2 and place an observatory that can detect radiation if China blasts a nuclear bomb. The operation contained both US and Indian military personnel. The team left the base camp of K2 and ascended the peak. When they reached the peak, it was too windy, so they set up the observatory and came down the mountain. After a few months, they went back to check the status of the observatory. To their surprise, a snowstorm destroyed the observatory materials. The most important part of the observatory setup was radioactive machinery that could detect radiation. Unfortunately, it, too, was missing. India carried out several operations to retrieve the measurement device, but it was a failure. To make the situation worse, the lost site was the origin of the river Ganga which was the lifeline for millions of people in India. Opposition parties raised a question about the missing radioactive element in the Indian parliament. The Indian government replied with a diplomatic answer that the radioactive element doesn't pose any threat to Indian citizens. Indian government tested the water in the Ganges river for radiation and found no traces of it. Recently a glacier melted in Uttarakhand and caused a massive avalanche. Many news outlets wrongly pointed out that the missing radioactive element might have caused the avalanche. Due to rising global temperature, the device might come out of the thick sheet of ice, but it's a ticking time bomb until that time.